वेलकम टू सेवेंथ ऑफ जनवरी इज गॉड ब्लेसिंग सुप्रीम गॉड फादर्स कैनोपी ऑफ लव एंड यू कैन फील प्रोटेक्टेड अंडर दैट कैनोपी ऑफ लव नाउ दिस अ मेथड टू बी अंडर दैट कैनोपी ऑफ लव व्हिच कम्स विद अ प्राइस वील अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली डू वी नीड टू डू ऑन अ डेली बेसिस सो दैट वी आर अंडर गॉड्स कैनोपी ऑफ लव एंड वी आर प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम मेनी थिंग्स मेनी सोरोस व्हिच पीपल जनरली फील इन दिस कलयुगा सो लेट्स गो अहेड एंड लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड What is the method over here? In his own words, Godfather says, or Supreme Creator says, or Param Atma, Supreme Soul says, "May you remain constantly safe under the canopy of God's love, and thereby be free from any waves of sorrow." The details of this: A lotus stays on top of muddy water. You all must have seen it, and yet remains detached. it is just as much detached as it is lovely so when you look at the lotus it looks beautiful and lovely but at the same time it is detached from the muck down below in the same way you children have become detached from the world of sorrow that means when we have our desires not from this old world anymore when we don't desire love happiness joy bliss peace from people from the things of this old world automatically our level of sorrow goes down then god says you children have become detached from the world of sorrow and are loved by the father so this godly love becomes a canopy of protection so it's like leaving something to get something there's always a price which we pay to achieve something in a life for example somebody who is studying for their board exams they have to give up on movies give up on making friends give up on so many things even on sleep just to achieve that success just to achieve that 100% marks so there's a price over there but then there's joy in it once you achieve it right same over here god says get rid of the old world's expectations from people and the things around you to give you happiness and joy and love and then you receive it from me all the joy all the love all the happiness you can receive from me alone then so you get detached from taking it from here or desiring from here and all the desire shifts towards him god then says what can anyone do to those who have god's canopy over them think about it so god is giving you his love and happiness and bliss and peace and people out there are throwing stones on you so what do you value more will decide your level of happiness and contentment in any situation in this world god then says therefore maintain your spiritual intoxication of constantly staying under god's canopy of protection now that can only happen when we are looking upwards that means when we are connected upwards when we are looking for everything with the guidance with the love with the happiness with the joy with the discerning power with the judging power what to do what not to do it's all based upon him it's not about what others say and he can guide us to even those souls who can help us in worldly things so that also becomes a canopy of protection it doesn't mean that you totally discard people totally disregard people for what they say even if they're giving you some suggestion it might be that supreme creator through them is trying to tell you something and if you are connected to the supreme creator and if you are in that vibration you'll be able to hear him speaking through some people that means his purity coming through some people guidance coming through some people then god says therefore maintain your spiritual intoxication of constantly staying under god's canopy of protection and no waves of sorrow will even be able to touch you mentally emotionally and physically too that's god's guarantee nobody in this world gives a guarantee on it even on this mobile phone or this laptop there's no guarantee of this physical body also right but here there's a guarantee which god says but the condition is stay under his canopy of protection that means always remain in his guidance be connected to him speak to him speak your heart to him 
tell your hurdles, tell about your problems, tell about your issues and become lighter and get his guidance. How do you do this? How do you connect to him? Is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. To go ahead, take the seven days. That is one hour a day. So it's exactly seven hours. Understanding and imagine just seven hours is going to change your life forever. With this, Om Shanti.